sideline. Here are the five for the Cavaliers. Mitchell and Struess in the backcourt. Isaac Okoro is out there with Dean Wade. And it's Allen in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Bucks, filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. Giannis and Lopez together down low. And it's Lillard in at the one spot. Well, there may be a lot of games ahead, but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special, Greg. Yeah, no question about it. This is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off on the right foot. I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night, but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to. Pass to Beasley. Second chance shot. And Ana de Kumpo with the lay-in. Oh, an extra effort by Giannis, the multi-time MVP. He's just built a little differently. Mitchell, the pass to Okoro. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's on Brooke Lopez. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the whole... So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. Well, the last few years, defense has been the calling card for the Cavaliers. Yeah, a lot of that has to do with their big men. Not only do they have the length and size, they've got tremendous agility and are able to switch on to the perimeter as well. And Clark with Malik Beasley. He's someone who can really light it up offensively. Yeah, you know, he can shoot it off movement, off the dribble. You know, when Beasley stays within himself, I think he's really an effective player, and we know he's skilled on offense. Mitchell against Lillard. Oh, and Mitchell powers it home! Whoa, guys. I mean, this crowd is in all of that Mitchell dunk. Heck, huh, I'm in all too. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Middleton, left side. Here's Ana de Kumpo. That's good. And so Middleton with the assist. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Mitchell. Last game, we saw him with 32 points. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Niang, he's checked in for Cleveland. Lavert comes in for Struess. Here's Middleton. Pass to Beasley. Shot clock at six. Here's Lopez. Cavaliers with a rebound. Here's Allen. It's Lavert on the wing. And he banks in the layup. Got to give Lavert credit. I mean, not allowing the defense to shut him down, using his length to get his shots off inside. Well done. Now here's Lillard. His last outing, we saw him score 22. Pass to Middleton. Anadokounmpo, right side. Yep, that one goes. Anadokounmpo's got six. Muscle Anadokounmpo has added over time, really helping him when he faces contact like that from the defense. Now here's Nia. To the left side wing. The three from Mitchell. Two shots, two makes. Donovan Off Mitchell. to a good start. And normally Mitchell wants his shot head on. But you give him the corner and he will adapt. Pass to Lopez. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. 
Here's Okoro. And here's Levert for three. Rebounded by Lopez. That's the first miss for this offense. They've hit three or four to start. To the middle. Here's Beasley. Lays it up and in. Oh, Despite yeah. excellent defense. He's got five. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Now here's Nia. In his last outing, 10 points for him. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Brooke Lopez. Is their territory. Another thing they're doing well early on is passing the ball, spreading it around the floor, and feeding guys who are well set up to score. He's off on the first. And you think about the value of continuity, Clark. A new coaching staff for these Bucks. But the roster. And he sinks the second. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. Jared Allen at 6'9 with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. More than effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. The Cavs trailing. Levert outside. Allen inside. Portis on him. Allen can't get it to go. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Kicks it out to Middleton. And he lobs it up to the rim. Ooh, stolen by Allen. On the wing, Mitchell. Over Lillard. And there's Mitchell on the assist from Allen. Mitchell's got seven points. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. Wing shot on the way. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Well, that's a good player missing from point blank range. That's one you got to convert. Count that one. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Trailing by eight. From deep three-point land. Allen, the pass to Levert. Pure from three-point range. Levert's got his second basket of the game. Levert showing you he can rise up from deep. A quality shooter when given room to fire. A chance to get a quick injury report. Guys, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for Cleveland. There's some pain in the chest area, especially when breathing. Right now, it's being called a bruise. And for a team with eyes on the championships, this injury could have serious implications. We will see how it affects them. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Grant. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. Here's Lillard following the score by Cleveland. No good on the three. He had more than enough room to hit that. Just couldn't make it happen. Liang outside. Remaining in the first. Levert goes against Beasley. Back to Niang. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Levert. Looking at our leaderboard here, last year, the teams that made an art out of transitioning from defense to offense. In the third spot, Cleveland. It seemed like almost every time they forced an error, they converted on it. Not just winning turnovers, but taking them to the bank. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Gets the three ball to go. Lillard gets so much lift on his three-pointers. It's almost effortless how he shoots. Now a timeout called by Cleveland. Well, the writing was on the wall for Lillard. And he's found himself a new home this year. Yeah, B.A. I mean, and Payne is subbed in for Lillard. A minute 35 left in the first quarter. Payne against Mitchell. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. That's four connections and five tries now for him in what's been a great first quarter. Payne against Mitchell on the wing. Crowder. Jones with the block. And it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession.
Shot clock at five. Here's Crowder. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Here's Merrill. The shot misses. Good work defensively by Crowder. Milwaukee has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Oh, and the dunk by Adetokounmpo. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdowns. Nieg outside. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. It's really amazing, absolutely astonishing how accomplished Antetokounmpo is on defense. I mean, he's disruptive wherever he is on the floor defensively. Poke loose. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Antetokounmpo. Cleveland ball. Twelve seconds left in the opening quarter. The three from Mitchell. No luck on that one. Connaughton outside. Misses from short range. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Bucks ahead, up by 12. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. to have you with us second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and quite a position here for the bucks to be in what do you think guys well they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled and you know for them guys it's all about tempo keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible Connaughton and Middleton at the two and the three Brooke Lopez is out there with Jay Crowder and it's Payne in at the point that's the five on the floor for the Bucks. Just five on the clock. Here's Merrill. Off the mark there with a three. Milwaukee has gone three of four from distance in this game. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo says his greatest challenge lies within. He said, quote, I don't compete with others. I just compete with myself. Every other night, it's going to be another great player, but I just try to be consistent, have fun, enjoy the game, create art, and be the best I can be. Artistry. I like it, Allie. Thank you. Well, Clark, in the 2023 playoffs, the Milwaukee Bucks got sent home in the first round. And in an eight versus one seed upset. We all thought they were set to make a deep playoff Daniel run. Jones. But injuries, untimely as they were, and the Heat had other plans. And the Bucks with the possession here, following the score by Cleveland. Outside Payne. On the wing, Crowder. Jones grabs the board. And it's Jones with the ball for Cleveland. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Here's Struess. Goes back up. Rejected by Lopez. Big Brook Lopez gobbling up space and getting the block on that play. The Cavaliers pull it in. Outside Struess. That's good. Sam good heads-up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. The Bucks have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Outside Payne. It's Middleton on the wing. Over a Coro. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. And the Bucks lead by 10. The obvious work ethic of Middleton on full display there. I mean, the quick release off the pass which leaves the defense without much to do. Here's Merrill. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavs will retain possession. Cavaliers. And here's the upcoming schedule for the Cleveland Cavaliers. On Monday, they'll be playing against Russell Westbrook and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Wednesday, it'll be the Detroit Pistons coming to town. Pass to Okoro. Knocked loose. 
Clock at six. Fires away from way outside. A shot by Merrill, no good. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. Now here's Payne. He's scoreless. Over Jones. Jones grabs the board. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Outside Struess. Here's Merrill, covered by Connerton. Back to Jones. Pass to Merrill. Fires the three. Fires in the triple. Merrill. Merrill's got five. So hard to challenge these shots. I mean, especially against the better shooters. To the inside. Lopez. Jones with the block. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Merrill. Defended by Payne. Pass to Struess. Fires from deep. Rebound by Middleton. And, you know, even though that shot didn't go down, I, I like how they got him a wide-open look in space there. Chalk up two there. Middleton's got four points in the quarter. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer. Also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? And the Bucks with some changes. Portis, he's checked in for Crowder. Beasley comes in for Connaughton. And Lillard subbed in for Payne. Now here's Allen. His last outing, he had 24 points. Rejected by Lopez. Middleton looking around. Just a highly effective free throw shooter. You cannot afford to give Lillard too many looks from the charity strike. First team foul. Free throw good, Lillard, and the league looking to curb how much the top teams can spend. Stricter financial rules now in place, Clark. A lot of teams didn't like how certain West Coast teams were spending, but I still think there's room to give teams the option to exceed limits if they're willing to pay the consequences for doing so. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. Middleton passes to Lillard. No good from outside. For Cleveland, they've gone 4 of 10 from the field in the second. Pass to Mitchell. And he lobs it up. And it's Allen who slams it home. Woo-hoo-hoo. That's the stuff of nightmares for the defense. They'll see that one in their sleep. A long athlete like Allen flying in the air. That's a bad picture. Now here's Lillard. He's got five. Now here's Portis. Drains the triple. Portis has got five points. Lillard's passing game, a thing of beauty. Got that ball to a guy who had a quality look and got it to him on time. Lavert goes against Beasley. Mitchell with the ball. Nine points in the game. Lavert passes to Mitchell. Here's the three. The rebound by the Bucks. Middleton's got four rebounds now. Here's Lillard. Jones with the block. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Pass to Allen. Now Mitchell. Allen outside. And here's Struess from downtown. And it's good. First made shot in four attempts. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. Here's Middleton. No good off the glass. 
showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Beasley. He's got 10. Middleton up top. And you've got to be careful with Middleton down low. I mean, he's very talented at how he gets defenders to bite in the post. A different look for Cleveland. Niang, he's checked in for Jones. Okoro comes in for Struess. And it's Merrill in for Mitchell. And he drops the first. Exactly what you want from a two-guard. I mean, Middleton, he scores in the clutch as well. He assists. And he, for the most part, takes care of the rock. Both free throws good from Middleton. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. Here's the Kuro. Pass to Merrill. From deep. Can't connect. Now two of six for the game. Milwaukee has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Lillard deciding where to go with it. He sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Lillard's got seven points. And if you're guarding Dame in the pick and roll, you need to stop the ball. Lillard can just eat you alive. Levert outside. From 20 feet. And no good. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Getting lots of great looks. Shooting it well. That's why they're up. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Well, thank you, guys. Doc Rivers here with us now. Coach, you're ahead at the half. What was the difference? We got stops. We are out running a little bit. Uh, and then we had great spacing against the zone. You know, listen, we started making shots. That always helps. It sure does. Thanks, Coach. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. The Tuesday Sports Time Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. The first quarter was all about Malik Beasley. He had 10 points, two assists, and one rebound. And uh, Shaq, what did you see out there from the Bucs? They've come out to try to push the pace. They'll pick the offense, getting the ball up court as quickly as possible. The badge and transition points has been the major difference in this game. And uh, Kenny, what'd you see from Cleveland? They're getting mad and falling behind, letting the crowd get into it. That affects your confidence. We'll see if they settle down in the second half. And that does it for our halftime show. We now turn back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Oh, it's been quite a game for Malik Beasley. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. The Cavs trailing. On the court right now for Cleveland. Jared Allen out there with Dean Wade. Then it's Karis LeVert. Then there's Okoro. And it's Merrill in at the point. Boy, the versatility of Levert showing you he's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve and a bunch of shots to choose from, too. When talking about Karis Levert, he's someone that does whatever is asked of him, Greg. You know what, B.A.? You're right. 
<laughs> Whether he's starting or coming off the bench, he's ready to contribute and help his team any way he can. Well, the Cavaliers' shooting has been good, around 52% from the field. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Hey, Brian. Well, everybody knows that Giannis Antetokounmpo is not just one of the best bigs in the league, but one of the best teammates all the way around. People say about him, he does everything. His teammates say he deals with guys, takes good care of them, makes sure they're healthy from top to bottom. He's the ultimate leader. Special talent. Oh, oh hey, oh, hey oh, how about big that? Big time right there. Big time. Woo. Oh, wow. Dame just sticking it to the other team, and you can see it's motivating his squad as well. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Third personal foul. That one misses. Boy, you know, you look at the raw athleticism of Allen. Very enticing. I mean, he's a quick-footed, shot-blocking big guy. He's got a great future in this league, in my opinion. He hits the second from the line. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Here's Lillard. Again, Milwaukee. Yeah, just a quick dribble right into his move. Lillard with the economy of motion. Merrill passes to Wade. Pass to Allen. Just five to shoot. Stolen by Middleton. Inside. Oh, Lillard just owning the paint. Middleton, the score by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates, too. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Pass to Merrill. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by Middleton. Middleton's got five rebounds tonight. Oh, there's the alley. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Allen with quick feet and showing you quick hands there. That allowed him to come up with that pilfer. And here's Middleton. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. And that'll be the finale in their four-game homestand. Pass to Lopez. Oh, rejected by Allen. Boy, that expansive reach of Allen. I mean, so good at positioning himself and using his length and time to stifle shoot. A different look from Milwaukee. Crowder, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Connaughton in for Beasley. Time out checked in for the Cavaliers. And last year, they were top 10 in the league in scoring. This team executed well on the offensive end. And you brought up their rebounding. It was impossible to beat them on the boards. They were committed to that part of the game. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. The Cavaliers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. All right, time for an injury report. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce for an injury update on Donovan Mitchell. What do you have, Allie? Guys, I chatted briefly with the head athletic trainer for Cleveland. There's some pain in the chest area, especially when breathing. Right now, it's being called a bruise. It's tough losing a player like this near the halfway point of the season. They'll just have to find a way to replace his production until he comes back. Back to you guys. Well, and Ali, it appears that he needs some work done before he comes back to this one. And we all know that if it's something he can play through, he'll be back, no doubt. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Back to Mitchell. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First Damian Lillard picks one up. The first free throw is good. On the very short list of franchise-level guards, Donovan Mitchell can take over a game with his scoring ability. 
Both free throws good for Mitchell. We've gone about three and a half minutes here into the third. Here's Anadokounmpo. Oh, the streak of Giannis. And the ball handling of Anadokounmpo. My goodness, really unreal. For a guy his size, his dribbling is ridiculous. Pass to Allen. Here's the floater. Crowder outside. And he drops it in from the low post. And now a 10-point Bucks lead. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Bucks? Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. Yeah, you know, the defense just hasn't been able to keep up with them in this one. The transition game as a result of good defense has been very strong. For Milwaukee, they've gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Lillard with the ball. Struce covering. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. On to Kumpo. On to Kumpo takes the contact and scores. Oh. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. We'll see if that's the answer. Struce the pass to Allen. Pass to Okoro. Good work defensively by Crowder. You know, I think the effort on defense there has everything to do with why he missed that shot. Well done. And Clark with Jake Crowder. He's always been an asset for a team in contention. Defensively. He misses the free throw. Payne's checked in for Lillard. Niang, he's checked in for Cleveland. Laverde comes in for Okoro. So he comes up empty, missing both. The Cavaliers have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. And he's going for the lob! And the lob disrupted, not to be. Outside Payne. No good. Great D that time from Allen. And so it's Allen who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a 10-point game. Lavert, that's good. What a tough make that was by Lavert. Refused to be denied and great concentration. Pass to Lopez. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Out to the wing. Ana de Kumpo, left side. Back to Connaughton. Four on the clock. The Bucks need to get up a shot here. And here's Payne outside. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. A minute 37 left to play in the third. Mitchell finds Levert. Excellent D there from Connaughton. Milwaukee's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Lopez passes to Anadokounmpo. Back to Lopez. Good on the bucket. Lopez has got five points. Kick to the outside. Heads up play. Cognizant of the entire floor. Mitchell deciding where to go with it. And the three off target. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. Here's Payne. And they recover it. Lopez. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Lavert goes against Connaughton. From deep, Mitchell. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lopez has got five rebounds in the game. Here's Ana de Kumpo. That one drops for him. He's got 16. His efficiency has been a big factor in helping them capture this lead. Here's Mitchell. A strong move by Mitchell inside. 
Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. To the paint. And here's Crowder from the arc. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. Really could be a morale crushing three pointer. So what a way to head into the fourth quarter. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks of 15 points as this quarter concludes. They've been fantastic pushing the ball. Fast break points, a key to this lead. We'll be right back with you shortly. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. Jake Crowder is out there with Bobby Portis. And it's Lillard in at the point guard position. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks, And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Cleveland shooting a nice 50% for the game. Pass to Wade. Down low. Here's Okoro. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Lillard passes to Middleton. Here's Portis. And it's Niang with the rebound. Niang's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Merrill. The three. It's hauled in by Portis. Lillard right side. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Bucks lead by 17. Boy, he's been a different player here in the second half. Looking much more comfortable on the offensive end. Here's Mitchell. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. First personal foul. First free throw is good. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. He does not get the second one. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. A shot by Merrill, no good. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Yeah, but he was. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Here's Beasley, and it's rejected. Here's Wade. Pass to Nia. Here's Mitchell. It's good from the top of the key. Mitchell's got nine points here in the second half. Yeah, Mitchell putting on a clinic of his skills in this one. Take notes, kids. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. <laughs> so close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Full throttle pedal to the metal attacking basketball. I like that. Free throw good, Lillard. Yeah, I think something that doesn't get appreciated enough is Lillard's patience. But he's not one to rush things or look for easy outs. He knows and both free throws good for Lillard. The Cavaliers have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Here's Merrill. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got six rebounds here tonight. He's been ice cold tonight. 
And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. Lillard passes to Portis. 13 feet out. Good. He hits the jumper. Portis has gotten four this quarter. When you watch Portis, he's not just a good jump shooter for a 6'10 guy. Bobby's just a straight-up good shooter, period. Outside Mitchell. Pass to Merrill. Six to shoot. Here's Okoro. Middleton covering. Puts up a three. Okoro, no good. Great job of closing the space and getting a hand up. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. Niang inside. Defended by Portis. Okoro, no good. And here's Middleton. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They lead by 20. That's the most we've seen. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Wade, the pass to Merrill. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. Milwaukee's gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. And they pick up two. And what's working here, each guy is willing to make the next pass. Cleveland calls timeout. Well, Clark, we know what Bobby Portis brings to the table. He loves the ball. Yeah, he does, and he does it with a smile, with great passion and energy, and we do know that he'll give you double-digit points, and he'll stretch the floor with his three-point shooting. Brooke Lopez has checked in for the Bucks, and Cleveland with a change here, too. Struess has checked in. And stolen by Beasley. Pass to Middleton. Plenty of space. Again, the Bucks. Good for two. Oh, my. Sinking yet another mid-range jumper. Mitchell, the pass to Wade. Back to Mitchell. And there's the lob. He's showing off the floor awareness right there. I love whenever Mitchell looks to share the wealth. Mitchell against Lillard. Pass to Middleton. Over Okoro. Another one falls for Milwaukee. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's Wade. Niang outside. Fires for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Portis has got nine rebounds now. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Rejected by Lopez. Now here's Lillard. Throws it up high. Boy, oh, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. Tell you what takes a concerted effort to slow down Brooke Lopez. Mitchell, the pass to Wade. And here's Niang. Back to Wade. And in deciding against lowering the minimum age for the NBA draft, Grant, do you think it's fair to 17 and 18 year olds who want to go pro? You know, B.A., I do think it's fair. I mean, there are other avenues in today's basketball environment where compensation for these guys is possible. You have the overseas route. You have the G League Ignite. And of course, now colleges have the NIL. So that's huge. Yeah, you have to knock those down. Open shots inside the arc are rare in this league. On the wing, Mitchell. And blocked with his palm. What a defensive play. Lillard against Struess. And it's Lillard penetrating. And the dunk by Lillard. For well, the ability to knife inside and convert, Lillard is fearless when it comes to attacking the basket. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Bucks.
And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. Yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Middleton. Scoring in the NBA is the highest it's been in over 50 years, Clark. You think it's time for some rule changes to help the defense? And I don't necessarily have a problem with that. The NBA has made it clear that entertainment is a core pillar. And appeasing and appealing to their fans is a huge driver. And that means more offense as opposed to more defense. Mitchell can't get that one to fall. Here's Milwaukee. They're on a 20-7 run. Here's Beasley. Good. And that makes him six for nine. A quality game for him so far. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Jones, the pass to Niang. Milwaukee foul. Chris Middleton. First personal foul. And he knocks down the first one. Crowder, he's checked in for the Bucks. Payne comes in for Lillard. Karis Levert's checked in for Cleveland. So he gets them both. Thirty two seconds left in the final quarter. Mitchell against Payne. Over Mitchell. The shot by Payne, no good. Oh man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Here's Merrill. He drops it from range. And so it's Milwaukee easily grabbing this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just was lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. All right, let's send it down to Ali LaForce, who's with our player of the game. Giannis, congratulations on the win. How does this team continue to improve as the season goes on? We just got to pick it up from where we left this game. Each game is going to get harder, but we got to trust one another, play the basketball we can play, and uh, everything's going to take care of itself. When everyone's out to get you, you can't let up. Thanks so much, Giannis. Allie, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. So long and good night, everyone.